it there, y'all. Look, look at the mole. I think, gang, we gonna get the best buy. They gonna be like, no, ma'am, you bought the refurbishment. Uh-uh, cause look. Run, <laughs> run. God, man, what did it? It can't be ours, bro. But it can't be ours. This ain't ours. This ain't ours. Hey, man. So I think Quan was about to surprise me with a PS5, bro. But why the box look like that, though? I might, I might have to tell her to take that back. My baby, the realest man. <laughs> she, 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 she the realest, bro. They ain't even wrapped the PS5, cause I know she was gonna try to surprise me with it. The way that she get home, though. So I got uh. Like every woman in my family, I got them a purse for Christmas, man. You know what I'm saying? Steve Madden purse. So that's what's in that box. I know what's in there for sure. Yeah, but anyway, this PS5, though. I know this girl ain't really got me no PS5, though. I already know she was going to surprise me with it. Well, surprise. <laughs> I'm about to take a picture and send it to her because she on a little lunch date with her partner. So I'm going to take a picture and be like, I know you weren't trying to surprise me with no PS5. What the fuck? What? I'm finna FaceTime. What the fuck? <laughs> y'all, I have not been feeling good. I don't know if Don told y'all, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I almost have like the flu maybe i don't know i won't speak it into existence but a lot of our kids at school are going around with the flu and other illnesses and i just hope whatever they got did not attack me but anyway y'all i want to talk to y'all about some things that i ordered i'm so happy they came y'all so one of the things i'm trying out is a new vitamin c so this is part of my facial routine y'all I have already been using a vitamin C, but I'm kind of tired of it because I feel like it's not working. So I'm trying this one out. This is made by Bliss. Yeah, a brightening serum, so yeah. And then y'all ordered something from TikTok, y'all. This is my first time ever ordering from TikTok, y'all. I don't know why I went to TikTok in the first place. Somebody told me about it and I really wanted to see how you apply it. I want to see the order in which you put it in because I have a lot of different steps in my facial routine and I didn't know where I was going to fit this new product. So I was like, hmm, let me check out TikTok. Let me see if they've heard of it. You know, if somebody uses it up there and let's see if, you know, they got a video showing like what it's done for them. So that's what made me go to TikTok in the first place, y'all. And on TikTok, they would talk about like the two different kind. There's a fake kind, there's a real kind. And they were telling you, you know, how you can tell the difference. So, y'all, I'm about to open it and see if I have the real kind. So, anyway, I looked at the reviews first, y'all. It's called Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. So, that's what this is. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, y'all. So, I took it out of this packaging. This is what it should look like. There should be like a slight incline on the pump. It should be going up just a little bit. That's what I heard in the reviews, y'all. Cause in the reviews that I read, it said there were like two different kinds. There's a fake one, there's a real version. So you need to make sure you order the real version, y'all. Y'all can wait to try this cause I'm hearing such good things. I'm hearing that, you know, like it brightens, which I really, really need. Cause I have hyperpigmentation. And just recently I had like a few breakouts, which is why I wear these glasses, y'all. Cause like on one side of my face, I don't even know what's going on, y'all. It's just not cute though, so yeah. Um, can't wait to try this product though. I'm just gonna add it to my repertoire things. Let me turn the TV out. That's why I walked in here, y'all. Y'all done got me hooked on Married at First Sight. There's a guy that be acting real, real, real foolish. I'm just so thankful that I ain't got a man like that. But anyway, y'all, I can't wait to try these new products on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the stairs because. Sometimes when I head upstairs, I forget 
to take my item with me. Y'all know y'all can hear it in my voice that I'm a little bit congested, a little bit stopped up. Hopefully I can bounce back and be myself pretty soon. But I ain't trying to be sick during the holidays. And I hope it's not the flu like a lot of those kids at my job are coming down with. I think they're like, oh man, I don't know. Probably like 10 kids I teach alone who left school with the flu. So I'm getting me some vitamins, y'all. This some B3. How many I'm supposed to take? Two gummies every day. Go ahead and pop those in now. Take me some vitamin C. I should have been taking this every day. That's the problem. I already took my elderberry. I keep those upstairs, y'all. It's a ginger root. I know what it's supposed to do, y'all. I'm gonna take it. And this is a daily supplement I'm supposed to take. Y'all, I just be in such a rush. I be forgetting to take my supplement. All right, hopefully this can make me feel a lot better. I really like taking medicine, y'all. Give me some water. Hopefully I start to feel a little better. I should taste my apple cider vinegar. I didn't think about that. Hey, I can't even open this. I need to close that real tight. I don't even know how much I'm supposed to have with this. Usually it down and pours it. I think that's too much though. I need those like a cap size, but it is what it is. Go ahead and drink this, get my water ready, because this stuff's nasty, y'all. Comment down below if y'all ever had a vinegar shot. Mrs. Bray's vinegar. Mmm. All right, gang, so another package just arrived, man. I ain't gonna cap, y'all. A lot of the late package is mine, bro. I don't, I don't know what got into me this holiday. I just was, I'm, I'm thankful that, you know what I'm saying, I still ordered enough time to uh, basically um, get the packages before Christmas. I, I think everybody's Christmas is going to be here, I think. I don't know. But yeah, we got some more packages, man. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Hey, uh, man, what I was about to say. I straight forgot, man. It's been one of them days, folks. Been one of them days. But, uh. Quanta finally made it to the crib, man. She's finna whoop up something to eat right quick. You did what I'm saying? What's up, BK gang? Yes, sir. All right. I don't know whether I want you to cook this bacon or me. Like, cause I've never cooked it. So I want to learn how to cook it, but you going to walk me through it? Hey, just like cooking bacon. It's so just, do I need to oil bacon. it? Put, put the oil in there, put the butter in there. Oil and butter. And when that mug go to dancing, you know that your bacon is cooking. Okay, so that ain't the same as regular bacon, cause bacon make it on oil, so I didn't know to put oil in it. I mean, even even when I cooked bacon, back in the day, I oiled the bacon. You cannot oil bacon. Oil make everything taste better. You can't make, you can't oil real bacon. Just like butter. Oh my God. So Shit do I like use butter. this and butter? Yeah. Okay. If you oil real bacon, still gonna taste like uh, paper, but it'll be alright. You said what? Still gonna taste like paper. It's not. I don't think it tastes it's like just paper. the texture, bro. It's the texture that you like. It's not really the taste. I like the taste too. You feel like you eat some bacon. Yeah, put some more um, butter in there. Why? 
So butter making your kind good. Really? Ooh. Garlic butter make everything better, but. Oh, should I sprinkle a little garlic in the bottom? Nah, but you're gonna have to put some salt on that bacon though when you get it in there. See, that thing ain't hot the time for the bacon, now I don't throw it in there. The butter ain't missing. It'll be alright. Melt as you go. Melt as you go. Alright, I'm putting this over there. Fill that thing up. Fill it up. Yeah, cause I'm on about four myself. But they taste like paper to you. That's what you just eat. It's just a texture. Just a texture. Uh-oh. I just broke it off. Yeah. Woo! Well, they're going to trash. I'm going to trash. That little bit of pizza back in that thing, yeah. Mm. You going to eat off the flu? It's my flu. And that flow ain't clean. I don't eat off of nobody else. Mm-mm. -mm. All right, now, nah. see how that bacon dance? Pig bacon don't dance. Does it not? And it'll clog you up. Okay. I think I put too many strips in. Yeah, take one of them up out of the show. That one on the end can probably... Uh, this one? Which one? This one? Yeah, that, that, that one probably can go. Take it out? Yeah. It was kind of cooking, though, but... Yeah, leave it in? Yeah. But you gotta watch, you gotta keep flipping it though. Oh, you do? Is it gonna shrivel up, like get smaller, like the real bacon? Nah, it just get plainer, like paper. <laughs> it get wet. It smell like real bacon though. It does. Okay, when do I season it? Oh, right now. That gets soft. On both sides? Yeah. So you told me to flip it. Yeah, yeah, it gets soft. Okay. Yeah, it's it gonna need some salt. Man, why are you talking about the bacon like you don't like it? I mean, they can go try it if they want, but if they expecting it to taste like bacon. Can I put a little garlic powder on it? Yeah, you want it. That's your bacon. Garlic powder is my every, everything good. They expecting that bacon to taste like bacon. I want them to know, because I don't want nobody saying that I told them <laughs> that that veggie money start baking taste like bacon. I said the texture. Yeah. It tastes nothing like it smells like bacon. So y'all gonna go buy this. The morning star need to go and cut me a check for sure. Y'all gonna go buy this. And y'all gonna get smelling it and it gonna smell like bacon. And then you gonna feed it to your husband. And he gonna be like, baby, this ain't this ain't what it is, cuz. <laughs> this ain't bacon. Okay, it ain't like bacon now. It don't start dancing too, so that means that it, it's it's getting up. Make that bacon dance. Do I season both sides? Yeah, I'm gonna put some. Put a garlic. Put garlic powder on the other side. Though. I thought you said you don't use garlic powder. I mean, I don't. Who cooking it, baby? Me or you? Man, you don't want to answer me. I ain't asking you about the season. <laughs> I can sit on the white TV now. More? See, I don't never do. See, I don't never do that. Oh, but, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be crispy though. I mean, you're, you're a way better cook than I am, you know, but. I never cut, cook this, though, so it's different. I think this is too high. Oh, yeah, you turn it down a little bit, my bad. I was saying, like, the heat, uh, pot up, pan, whatever. Oh, let me show you what, what Walmart did. So, Walmart gave us some cheese that's already molded. Walmart. Look at this. 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 Look Trying to kill I us out here. It. Trying to clog us up even more. Trying to kill us. I'm allergic to mold too. I ain't even count. I'm glad you caught that because I probably would have just ate it. You would have just opened it up? And put it on the thing, put it all in my stuff when he ain't known it was molded because I would have thought that was pinto cheese or something. Mm, no. Heck no. Yeah. So Walmart got to count their day and Best Buy got to count their day. Oh, yeah. Cause I'm mad about that dang on game coming like that. Bro, that's crazy. Cause somebody could have took the game. Not only that, folk. Yeah. It looked like it being open, folk. Somebody tampered with our package. Somebody like, opened it up. What? what? Fed that people don't own up that game and play it. And put it back in there and take it up. Thought we wasn't on it. How? Hold on, bro. How? How you? I'm saying, how? Like, just talk to me, bro. They didn't have time to play with it because you ordered it. Somebody played it. And you said it was brand new. You didn't get it refurbished. It was brand new. Look, I got to my app. Where's my phone? Let me go to my app and show you.
Yeah, about that game. We're going to get the best buy. They're going to be like, no, ma'am, you bought the refurbished one. Uh-uh, because look. Okay, where am I at? Best buy. Let me. Here you go. All right, best buy. Why it take so long to come up? Open, open. All right, so here's my account, my purchases. Let's get it. Internet moving slow today. Oh my god! All right, so look, December seventeenth. Okay, let me click it so you can see. All right, look at this. It does not say refurbished. It really don't. No, it's not refurbished. It's brand new. And look at the price. Yeah. And it came from Best Buy or was it like a... Uh, this is Best Buy. Or was it like somebody who... You know, sometimes you can give your joint to Best Buy and then they'll sell it for you. Well, let's go to it again. Let's see who's selling it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they got them in the store. I'm not going to go right back. Just tell them you want to learn, bro. Not another box. You feel like the game been tampered with. Like, if it's a new game, why the box all cut up and stuff like that? Yeah. I can't believe they sent that, bro. Mm, they about to give us another one. But I appreciate it, though. Yeah, man, so we finna, uh, y'all see what we doing, man. We cooking a little breakfast. And it's not breakfast time. How many of y'all do that? Y'all coming down below. How many of y'all eat breakfast? But it ain't breakfast time. To me, personally, I think breakfast tastes the best when it's not breakfast time. Like straight up. I think that's why Waffle House is so big because people eat breakfast and it's not breakfast time. When is breakfast time? In the morning. Bre breakfast food is like the best. Like when you can eat some bacon and eggs and grits like around this time, you know what I'm saying? Or if you can eat it like at night, I think that's like the best food in the world. Even though we don't, we don't really eat breakfast anyway. Yeah, man. Uh, that's what we got going on today, man. As y'all saw, Walmart trying to poison us Best Buy. Um, I don't know what they got going on. That ain't like Best Buy, bro. I like Best Buy, to be real. But hey, we got to run a couple errands, take a couple of things back, man. And that's what we doing. Yeah. Y'all make sure, though. Y'all know what to do, man. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. Make sure you hit all so with the ball. Yeah. Man, look at that plate, man. Man, don't be jealous, man. Like, I don't, I don't really don't like when y'all be jealous, bro. I ain't even lying, dog. Like, like when y'all be jealous, it make me not even want to eat, bro. Like, just, just look, bro. Like, it ain't no meat on that plate at all, bro. Please don't be jealous, y'all. Because if y'all be jealous, I'm going to just stop eating, bro. Yeah, put to perfection. Yeah, mm -hmm. how about I ordered some stuff from Joanne's, right? Yeah, it contained like some cellophane bags that I was supposed to put my students' gifts in. Y'all, the bags just came today. Yeah, they came today or yesterday. I think Don brought them in today. But thing is, y'all ordered those things like three to four weeks ago. I was supposed to put my kids stuff in them. And y'all had to find some little cheap bags to put that stuff in. Let me open this. See what all in here. Yeah, it was like supposed to be a big order. They broke it up and sent it at different times. I guess everything wasn't in that store. Yep, these are cellophane bags. Look at this mess. And they so cute. I really wanted to get these out. <laughs> It'll be all right. I guess I put my student stuff in it next year. Yeah, it'll definitely be for next year. I put them up. Next time, y'all, I'm gonna order my stuff way, way, way in advance. I thought I was doing that this year, but obviously that did not help. All right, Don is about to get dressed. He's already, he should be dressed now. He had to go upstairs, get in the shower. And I already showered this morning. I'm about to put on a new top though. Cause this one kind of hot, y'all. I'm going to put me a new sweater, shirt, something. I don't know, something less light. Babe, what you doing? Yeah. Why are you walking like an old man? I'm trying to step on your purse. Oh. So, babe, why you not wearing Christmas stuff? I'm all festive. You said that Christmas stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Let's take a quick thumbnail because I'm about to change my top. It's a little bit hot. 
And then we about to go run some errands, y'all. Because I got to take that nasty cheese back, first of all. And I should complain when I take it back. But whoever is there might not be the person that gave it to me. So, hmm. Yeah. Might not be the person who picked it up either. That's kind of messed up. They picked up that nasty moldy cheese on it. Yeah, they didn't even care. <laughs> they didn't. You ain't even look yeah, at it. You just picked up anything. It's really upsetting. But anyway, yeah, we're going to Walmart. And then we got to take that dang on box back to Best Buy. Whoever tampered with it, count your days too, boo. Because God don't like it. Whatever you put out there is definitely going to come back. I bet you they opened it up and got something out of it. You think? Probably got a game out of it. You think so? Oh, that's the only thing I, think I kinda wanna open it just to see what's missing. I don't know. I'ma just take mm -hmm. it in. I want me a whole new box. Boo, I don't play like that. Especially not a five hundred dollar gift. Like that's too much money to spend on something and you know, it comes beaten up and tampered with. I ain't playing that, y'all. They're gonna have to give me another one. But anyway, let me go ahead and take this thumbnail so I can change my clothes and we can be on our way. All right, y'all. So I changed. I got another Christmas top. Just says Merry Christmas. All right, babe, you ready? Y'all, we're going to try to be fast. I want to get in and out of these stores. I'm not trying to be amongst all these holiday shoppers. I really, dang it, I sound like a Grinch. Don't I? I sound like a, um, what's the man name on, um, what's the name of that movie? Mr. Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge. I sound like him. Yeah, but for real. He didn't leave the house, did he? I don't want to leave the house either. I'm only leaving the house because they damaged our product. And I got to go. I really didn't want to go, though, y'all. I like doing holiday shopping online. That way, I won't have to be out there in the traffic. All these long lines, y'all. It's a lot. I just try to avoid it at all costs. All right, babe, you ready? Let's get it. So, y'all, we came to Walmart. And we tried to return this moldy cheese. Y'all, look at it. It looks so bad. <laughs> Y'all, they told me I have to come on the inside and go to customer service just to exchange it. Why did I go through all that? You made a mistake. So I'm going to call them and complain. And it's my last time doing pickup orders at Walmart. Never again will I do that. Not many people here, just two folks. Thank God. All right, it's just two people in here, but still, I ain't feel like coming in. That's the point. Like, you could have just, you should have just exchanged it outside. Like, why gotta come in here? Just look at it, guys. How in the world somebody picked it up and don't know it's molded? They just don't care. So as y'all can see, it's dark, dark now, which means I stayed in Walmart a little too long. Even though there were only two people in line, y'all, this one guy was taking so long. I don't know what in the world he was doing. He did like three, four different transactions. He apologized to me, but I ain't mad you. Get out of line and get behind me and do whatever you gotta do. But anyway, the lady inside, she was very nice. She told me to call and complain. She was like, they were supposed to replace it in the pickup line. I didn't even have to come inside. That was a lie. So, get with I wasn't even supposed to go inside the store. I did not have to go to customer service to replace the cheese, y'all. All I had to do was do what I did. I called them and let them know they gave me moldy cheese. That was supposed to exchange it. But instead, they lied. They fabricated this story about how you have to do it at customer service because they didn't want to do it. That's all it was. I hate when people don't want to do their job. If you are too lazy to do the job you apply for, why apply? I don't like that. Unless they didn't know. They no, in. that girl was just a liar. She came up with that lie off the fly. It was like real, real quick. If you didn't know and you're new at this, you want to give me a lie. You fabricated it. Yeah, I mean, I done brought something back before, but not the next day, though. Like Me too. Day, I bring it back there. Go ahead. Well, I brought it back the next day. She don't know if it was from today or yesterday or what. Because she ain't even given me an opportunity to let her know. Finally at Best Buy. There's so many people out, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to take this damage box in here. See what I can do. Go look at it. Damn, take the thing out. Look. Babe. It's a bit inconvenient, honey. 
Yeah. <laughs> you want me just return down line? Right, gang, I just took the uh, PlayStation out of the box, right? Just to open it in this way. And uh, my man straight up just told him, right? Like, he was like, you can open it up here if you want. You can go home and play it if you want. You know what I mean? So, so nice. No, I got to do it. Yeah, man, just check it in with y'all and y'all know what's going on. I think I'm just going to keep it like this, man, because, uh, I don't feel like standing that line. It looks like nothing is wrong with the game. And we got until like the middle of January to return it if we have to. I'm not gonna stand that line and like, I'm not. So we're gonna let y'all in a minute though. You gonna walk out of store just like that? Deal. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. Where's that? You're so slow. <laughs> Baby, why you so foolish? First of all, the people who were at the front are not the same people that were there when we first walked in. So, they probably think he stole their jump for real.